Hello to everyone, welcome. Welcome. Another inspiration. Selection for Advent in the manger. This is your pastor, Yeti. Linger near the manger. How do we go through Advent when there is so many darkness around us? How I can still see the light as we make difficult decisions to move forward in most of a fog where you not see clear how you walk through that. The person came to earth and he worked it all out according to the plan that God had for the world and he obeyed. So come with me in this reflections, inspirational sections for Advent to find ways for you to help you see what Christ did for the world and how it all came to be. Made for you a blessing. And a deep insight in your own situation. Linger near the manger. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people, for there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, verses 10 and 11. God tapped humanity on its collective shoulder. Pardon me, he said. An eternity interrupted time. Divinity interrupted carnality. And heaven interrupted the earth in the form of a baby. Christianity was born in one big heavenly interruption. Just ask the Bethlehem shepherds. We know so little about these men, their names, their ages. How many were on duty that night? We don't know. But this much we can safely assume they had no expectations of excitement. These are sheep. They are watching. We count sheep to go to sleep, so to say. Besides, this is the night shift. Might as well watch paint dry. Shepherds watching sheep sleep. Saying that sentence is more exciting than doing their job. Their greatest challenge was staying awake. These men expected no excitement, nor did they want any. Any excitement was bad excitement. Wolves, mountain, lions, poachers, shepherds treasured the predictable. They coveted the calm. Their singular aim was to be able to tell their wives nothing happened last night. Just because they wanted a calm night, however, didn't mean they would get it. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them. The glory of the Lord was shining around them. And they became very frightened. Change always brings fear before it brings fate. We always assume 
the worst before we look for the best. God interrupts our lives with something we've never seen, and rather than praise, we panic. We interrupt the presence of a problem as the absence of God and good. Good things, good thing the shepherd lingered. Otherwise, they might have missed the second verse. Today your Savior was born in the town of David. He is Christ the Lord. I hope you'll do what the shepherds did, linger near the manger. Pray with me. My Lord and Savior, I'd like to join the shepherds and see your glory. Hear your angels and know you as you really are. Open the eyes of my heart that I may behold you in your word. I want to linger near you and know you completely. In Jesus' name, amen. Change always brings fear before it brings faith. Let that be a pinpoint in this Advent season. A long way we go to Christmas and for future. Advent blessings. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye-bye.